For those of us who watch big-time sports, that usually means watching men play the game, whether it's basketball or baseball or hockey. The fact is women's sports often don't get much attention or provide the players the same big paychecks. But that isn't stopping some of the best female hockey players from getting into the game. NBC's Claire Duffy has the story. In the 1992 film A League of Their Own, 1940s women's baseball didn't get a lot of respect at first. Dozens of people are waiting for the game to start. The Rockford Peaches eventually won over the fans with their skills. And the women of the Boston Blades hockey team are hoping they'll do the very same thing. As the first American team in the semi-pro Canadian Women's Hockey League, the roster is loaded with college and Olympic stars. Most Olympic athletes are doing this. They're getting on the bus. They're making ends meet however they can so that they can train for the sport they love. And making ends meet is a priority. The Blades don't get paid, so everyone on the bus has a day job or juggles road trips with school. I think I have a leg up on my you know, law student colleagues because I get to come out here and exercise the demons, throw some bodies into the walls. While that's not technically allowed in women's hockey, the Blades hope more fans will embrace their style of play. What did you guys think of the game? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. After each game, they make sure everyone who wants an autograph gets one. Thanks for coming up. And their reward for a dramatic shootout win against the visiting Toronto team? Pizza on the bus ride home. Hey, Russ. When she's not sharpening her game, Annie Hogan is getting her TV career off the ground. But she's proudest of being a hockey player. When I tell people that I'm playing on a pro team, they're like, oh, that's so exciting. So how much do you get paid? And then it's like, ugh, to backpedal. Well, it's not really that kind of pro. We go. <laughs> Coach Erin Hamlin just wants her players to have a future on the ice. I love these players, I love the game, and I've always loved it. I've been involved since I was a little kid, and, you know, it's hard to walk away from that. With a league of their own, perhaps they won't have to. Claire Duffy, NBC News, Boston.